Okay, so I wanted to add on. Okay, I probably should say hello. <laughs> I will start off by saying hello, and then I will talk about the supplements. <laughs> What's up? Alex from Physique Development here, and I made a post about carb intake around your training session. On Sunday and now I'm going to follow that video up with um, some ingredients you should be looking for in your pre-workout um, there's three categories of ingredients that I'm going to speak upon I want to break them up into separate videos um, so it's a little bit easier to follow it's not so long um, so there's three categories um, the first one being pump the second one being um, energy and endurance and then the third being um, focus and today we're going to cover the ingredients you should be looking for to optimize or to for the optimal pump that pump dough <laughs> um, there's not a, a long list of ingredients um, but with the ingredients that I am suggesting you do want to get a quality dosage in um, some companies will try to sneak these in in a proprietary blend and not have a ton of the actual product in because these ingredients are going to be fairly expensive, um, especially for the companies to manufacture, um, but they're going to be worth it. Um, one thing that I will say before we get into, is, into this is that um, not all supplement companies or their product are made equal by any means. Um, not None of this is regulated, so be sure to do your own research. Um, see some third-party studies done on these products and make your own decision. So the ingredients that you want to look for um, in a pre-workout that is that are going to enhance your pump. I'll list them off and then we'll kind of go back through and talk about the ingredients um, and what they what they do. <coughs> Got my notes here. <laughs> First one being L-citrulline malate. Number two, L-citrulline it's by itself. Uh, Agmatine, Hydromax, and beetroot extract. All of these are going to work as vasodilators. Um, the Hydromax is actually going to increase the fluid um, that is being um, pushed to the cell. The others are going to expand the cell. Um, so, with the citrulline malate, some studies will say that you want 6 grams of citrulline malate. Um, some studies will say that you want 8 grams. Both are going to work very well. Um, so either one of those, you want to look for that dosage um, when you see that on the backside of your pre-workout. There's another form of L-citrulline, and it's just by itself. So with the citrulline malate, the reason that companies went to that is that there's no clumping Generally, there's no clumping with citrulline malate um, when it comes to their products, so they're basically avoiding a big issue that some companies still deal with when they use just the citrulline. Um, but the citrulline is going to be a little bit more effective, um, and you can an optimal dosage for L-citrulline would be four grams. Um, yeah, I, I like personally, I like the pump off of L-citrulline by itself comparative to the citrulline malate generally um, depending on the source as well so if I know it's from a very high quality um, brand then the citrulline malate at 8 grams will will definitely um, be optimal um, but there's 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 companies out there that use this the L citrulline by itself still at 4 grams and it's very high quality as well okay and then agmatine Agmatine is going to um, work together with the citrulline, um, and you want to look for agmatine um, from 750 milligrams to a gram um, would be my suggestion. Um, a lot of the studies are going to show um, a, an, an amount of milligrams per kilogram of body weight, um, but in my, in my personal experience, I would suggest 750 milligrams to a gram of agmatine. And then Hydromax. This is my baby. 
B. I love Hydromax. I love, 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 love Hydromax. Hydromax is, like I said earlier, is going to increase the actual amount of fluid that is rushed to the to the muscle, to the cell. Um, and Hydromax, uh, generally a lot of these companies are going to be putting in a gram, which is prime. I love a gram. You could go as high as two if you really wanted to get just very ambitious. Um, but some will try to sneak this in in a proprietary blend, and no one really knows how much they're putting in. But it's it's a, it's a definitely a must-have, and I would highly suggest to have at least a gram of Hydromax in your pre-workout. And last but not least, this is my favorite. Um, this basically just increases the nitrogen within your within your blood, and this is beetroot extract. Um, and I suggest to have three to five grams in your pre-workout. Um, and that's kind of, a lot of companies aren't putting them in their pre-workout because the flavor is so harsh. Um, so you have to kind of buy that as an add-on. But um, some of the studies will even show that uh, athletes are taking 10 to 12 grams, but that's generally for endurance athletes. Um, I'm speaking in terms of bodybuilding um, and just um, sports perform uh, performance and, and weightlifting. Um, so three to five grams is kind of a sweet spot. And that's about that. Those are the ingredients that I would suggest. Um, I'll link um, somewhere that you can see uh, studies, recommendations as far as dosages go, so you can kind of double check the things I'm saying. Uh, that'll be ex examine.com. Um, that's a really easily um, to navigate through, and there's a ton there. <clears throat> um, there's no like specific pre-workout out there that I would say carries all of these, um, like I said, you're going to have to uh, look around, um, find the ones that you like, what work for you, so there's a lot of trial and error involved in finding a good pre-workout, um, but I will be making a video on um, energy and endurance after this, and then focus as well, and I think Austin is going to do nootropics. Ooh, saucy. Garcia, quit playing that slap. Peace.